Tribune Man of the Year reception. Featuring our honoree, movie producer Will Packer. This is an exclusive interview with Brent Wilson. Attorney Brian Poe with the Atlanta Business and Entertainment Exchange and Post Sense of Law. And I'm honored to be here tonight with Mr. Brent Wilson at the 2014 Atlanta Tribune Man of the Year reception. Brent Wilson is a partner with L.B. Thompson Wilson and South. And I'm proud to say that Atlanta Tribune, the magazine, featured him in our 2012 edition uh, as a man of integrity. And I'm also proud to announce that Brent Wilson just last month was announced as one of the top 100 attorneys by the Super Lawyers magazine, a uh, top 100 in the entire state of Georgia. So congratulations on that honor. Uh, how do you feel about tonight's event and the honorees? Absolutely a wonderful event. Uh, the honorees have uh, distinguished themselves in terms of their professional careers. And uh, on top of that, they're all very, very great guys. So it's been a very, very nice evening. Excellent. One of the things I notice about you and many of the other people who've been featured in this magazine is that you come back. You seem to be gravitated towards supporting Atlanta Tribune, the magazine, and its events. Why is that? Well, the Atlanta Tribune is uh, an iconic magazine here in Atlanta. Pat Lotier, who's uh, been the publisher and owner, has uh, been a contributor to this community. Uh, you feel an obligation to support her and the magazine because it is... Uh, definitely one of the most influential magazines in the community and from the standpoint of the black community you know it provides each and every one of us with opportunities and information that we can't get from anywhere else absolutely and when you look back now at your career um, there have been things that everybody knows about your legal career but you've done some things in the community that are important and when we wrote the article it was before you took on a very, very important role with Boys and Girls Clubs of America. So I'd like for you to share with our audience today your role and what you were able to accomplish in that role with Boys and Girls Club of America in Atlanta, well, Metro Atlanta. At the time I took that position, we were in a transition. What was the position? Well, it was chairman of the board, and it was a transitional period because uh, we were going through some significant changes in terms of our leadership. And um, I'm fortunate to say that, you know, we handled that transition smoothly um, and that we have a very stable organization uh, that is continuing to serve, you know, the youth of Metro Atlanta and virtually and actually North Georgia. Uh, and one of the interesting aspects that many people don't realize is that over 80% of the kids that Boys and Girls Clubs of Metro Atlanta serves are African American. attorneys is recognized by the Georgia Super Lawyers Magazine and we have people like Brent Wilson all in the house 